so hello everyone so today i am going to show you the entire process of uh, installation of the slicer software and the working of it so let's begin so this is the folder uh, of the slicer software i'll upload this folder in the description so you can download it so we have bought the creality ender 3 s1 pro uh, printer so with that we have got this software uh, the software is complimentary so this folder consists of the printer user manual so which has the uh, in different languages it has all the uh, user guidelines and the manuals for this printer so this is how the printer looks it is ender 3 s1 pro it has the instructions to use what all components it comes with the extra components everything it is given the part description everything is given i'll upload this you will find this in the folder moving to next folder that is the software and the drive so if you don't have the necessary drive generally we have it in our pc so it is not necessary to install this drive also but if you have some error you can install this then uh, we have the software in this folder i'll show it a bit later like i'll show you this folder this is the operation video the entire video of how to install the 3d printer it is given the material guide is nothing but the types of the material can be used with the temperature and the settings the basic settings are given over here so you have the pla material tpu abs ptg carbon all it is it is given so you can refer the temperatures the melting temperature that is the nozzle temperature the fan speed which you have to keep accordingly so the settings are given also the printing speed all this settings i'll show you uh, where it is applicable in the slicer software okay so next is there are some uh, basic models given so you can uh, like a demo you can print this now moving to the actual software so creality 4.8 this is you have to double click on this and then you have to just accept all the process and the software will be installed so i have already installed the software so i'll show you so this is the creality software which we have installed now i have made a file uh, just a basic box uh, we have uh, made on stl so i'll open that and also i'll show how to load and upload and slice everything in this software so this is the 4.8.2 version of the creality you have different softwares in the market like cura ultimate cura you can use that also the software is similar it's quite similar similar functionality is a bit here and there but uh, as we have got this with our printer we are using this but you can use other softwares also so first i'll delete this i'll open the basic so this is the basic page of the software uh, this is the box which is the perfect dimension of our 3d printer so first step uh, when you first open the software you will ask here to add the printer so you have to add the printer so whatever 3d printer you have now here we only have the creality 3d printers because this software belongs to the creality so we have all the creality softwares present over here uh, printers uh, present over here so we have this creality ender 3 s1 pro so we'll click on this we'll add it so after adding you will get this page so this is the basic settings of the printer so the total uh, build plate the build plate is the bottom plate of the printer so its width that is the x axis width is around 220 mm that is 22 cm width is 22 cm then y axis is nothing but the depth size so y axis depth size is again 220 so it is a box of 220 by 220 and then the height the z axis is around 270 degrees uh, 270 is mm millimeter so that is the height the total object the biggest object you can make on this printer will be around this 220 less than 220 of course but it will be around 220 220 by 270 then the build shape is rectangular these are all the basic things the heated bed obviously the heated bed should be there this is the printed settings the starting settings of this then uh, when you click on next so it will be added so here already uh, it is there so i'll remove one the manage printers i'll remove this remove okay 
So we have already added this. Okay. Now, starting with this page, so this is the box, the dimension is 220, 220 and the height is 270. So whatever box you upload over here, it will be in this size only, you have to uh, make all the adjustments. So this is the front side. So this arrow indicates this is the leftmost side of our print. So this will be on the left side and here the printing will be there. So first settings, the, you have to go to file, you have this new project, you can start if you have any uh, STL file already there, you can open this, you have, the shortcut is also given, open the recent, so recent whatever I have opened, it is here. Save project, export, so you have to export in, into G code. So in my first uh, video lecture, I have told you that all the STL files uploaded in this, you have to upload STL files in this license software and you get the G code. So when you export, you get the G code of that. So here different files are there, but for our 3D printer, we'll use this G code file. So I'll show you that also. Okay. So first, uh, then you have this edit settings, this all settings, I'll let you uh, explain you when I open this project. So I'm opening a file. So just I've, I'm importing this box. So this is the box. This is just a very small uh, box is it the dimension is around 20 that is 2 centimeter by 2 centimeter by 2 centimeter the dimensions are given this is x y and z so in the file uh, or edit you can select you can undo arrange all the models clear the build plate you can clear the build plate uh, undo and i have bought this again then reset all the model transformation the view the camera position you can change the 3D view, this is already in the 3D view, then you can click on the front view. So this is the front view, front view, top view, left hand side view, you can view accordingly you want. You can also camera view. Now this is the perspective mode. You can go into two dimensional mode also. So this is the two dimensional mode. This is the 2D mode. So 2D mode, uh, you can, if you go into front view, it, you, you will clearly now see the front view. So this is the 2D mode. So this is our block. I'll just increase the size of this so it will be much easier for you to view. I'll go back to the perspective or the isometric view. I just increase the size. Okay, I'll show you how it is done. So this is the, I've increased the size. Then you have some uh, printer. It is already selected. Extensions, this post processing. I'll explain it later. Uh, this is a bit advanced thing. Yeah, you can do it. Okay, now the actual, now as we have exported this block, so first setting, this is the move setting. So this is the move setting. By holding this arrow, you can move this in Y direction. This is in X direction. As you can see over here also, it is moving X direction and this is in Z direction. But you can't move this because this is the build plate. It will not print in air. So it will always be going back to the base. Then you can change the size that is scaling. You can scale it down up. You can reduce the size. You can increase the size by holding this. So I'm moving it downward. So it is decreasing the size, stretching it, increasing the size. Okay. So here we have clicked on uniform scaling. Now if I remove this uniform scaling, this is scaling it exactly. If I remove this uniform scaling, now you can see if I uh, left click this and drag it upward, now it is scaling it this Z direction. If I drag like this, it is scaling in X direction. If I drag like this, it is scaling in uh, that is Y direction. Now, sorry, before I didn't uh, mention you about the click. So this is the scroll. By scroll, you can zoom in, zoom out. By left click, you can select the object. You can scale, rescale anything. Now, using the right click of your mouse, you can move like this. Entire object, you can move anywhere you can look like this. So these are the basic instructions. Now moving back, we were here at the scaling. So we are clicking on uniform scaling. So if you want a block, you can scale like this. Okay. Now if you want to rotate the object, so rotation option. So this is in one coordinate, rotate like this. Other coordinate rotation. And this is the another coordinate rotation. So you can rotate the objects using this option. Next, then you have some uh, option like mirror option. You can duplicate this object if you want. 
can duplicate you can mirror this now this is the cube so it doesn't look looks like same then you have you have to add some supports i'll show you this now this is the basic changes what i can make now moving towards the printing so here we have the settings so this is the default standard settings i'll just go to default so this is the default standard settings where we have this uh, nozzle uh, diameter that is from 0.08 mm to 1 uh, mm so the standard is 0.2 mm uh, width of the nozzle so this width uh, if you go downwards like here so it will be a super uh, fine quality so the thread one thread which comes out of the nozzle it is of 0.12 mm so higher you go it will be thicker so only this four options we can move in this uh, in this type of printer standard one is 0.2 all our printers all our objects comes great with this so if you go down the time will increase for the printing because the thread and the filament will also be increased for the printing then we have infill okay so first i'll talk about this that is the nozzle uh, diameter that is 0.2 so i am selecting this 0.2 and when i click on this slice so now as you can see the time which is taken to print this entire block is 10 hours 28 minutes and the filament which is used that is 120 grams that is 40 meters of the entire filament if you click on this you will get the exact insights of what all things where were all the time estimation and how much filament of the percentage it is used so if i click on this preview now this is the preview of the entire three dimensional object now as if i zoom into this you can see now it has converted our entire block into slices so this what does the slicer software so it has around one uh, 432 layer so from the bottom it has 432 layer so if i scroll this this is how it will start printing so this is the first layer that is one and it will go up like this so 432 layers so i'll show you just how the first layer will print so this is a play button here so this is the outer layer first it prints this is the basic layer which it always prints and then it will go inside and it will start printing so two layers two lines of outer layer then it will go inside and it will start printing so the printing speed also i'll change so it will move faster when i show you here okay so this will go like this entire printing it will go from bottom to top and this is the top layer how it will print so this is the nozzle okay so now moving towards the uh, more settings so you have this infill now what is this infill infill is nothing but the amount of the material filled inside so it starts from zero that is no infill to 100% that is the entire solid block so if i keep this zero and i do the slicing so there is no infill inside so this block is entirely hollow so this is entirely hollow but the disadvantage here practically when i print this pra, uh, practically when i print this the top layer will not have any support to print so this top layer will be hanging so due to gravity it will fall down so we have to provide some infill over here so if i increase the infill to 20% slice but you can see that the uh the time also increases the, and the amount of the material used is also increased so you can see this is the infill and if i move to 100% the time will increase and rapidly and the you can see the 3 days 22 hours 45 minutes and the material used is around 805 grams and literally the entire filament will be utilized for printing just this block but it will be a very hard block okay so moving towards uh, more of the settings we have this gradual infill gradual infill will basically uh, do the infill like bottom it will be very less and as i go upwards it will print 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 and it will gradually increase and at the top it will be a maximum layer thickness uh, more settings now to increase the speed everything 
uh, i'll show you how you, how you i'll be able to increase the speed also supports now supports are used basically uh, for this block there is no requirement of any supports but if this object is rotated like this so if this object is like this now this is against the gravity and if you have a specific angle you will require the supports so now in this case you will require the support slice preview so you can see it has provided the supports so even if you uh, like uh, box so placement of the box is also important so if you have a cube obviously you have to place like this now for more settings you can go into custom so now these are the custom settings as you can see uh, there are lots of option i'll explain you each so starting with the quality so this is the layer height so as you know our each layer so if i zoom this uh, sorry if i slice and then zoom so as you know uh, it is divided into n number of slices so if i go into preview so this is the layer so this is one layer this is one layer so the thickness now it is 0.2 mm so you can change the layer height you can reduce that so it will be much finer quality the steps involved will be less but uh, here you can see uh, here there will be more number of steps so if i convert this into 0.1 and then slice so it will be a super fine quality as you can see it doubled literally it doubled because now it is 1 mm so the thickness of this layer is 1 mm earlier it was 0.2 mm and again the time and everything got increased exponentially so i'll get back to 0.2 as you decrease the height of this block so that can be easily processed much faster then the wall thickness is 0.8 mm and the wall line count is 2 so now this it has a calculation like this is 0.8 mm the wall thickness is nothing but the thickness of the wall i'll slice that so it is nothing but this is the first layer so this thickness so this thickness is nothing but the thickness of the wall so you can increase the thickness it will be a sturdy box now the wall thickness is 0.8 mm so it is basically 0.8 mm divided by 0.2 which gives us 0.4 mm so that 0.4 mm is again divided into 2 so 0.4 0.4 mm so this wall line count is 2 so this are the uh, so through that it comes to 2 so because as you know our layer height is 0.2 mm the wall thickness is 0.8 so if i divide 0.8 by 0.2 you get 0.4 and as the total layer is 0.2 so 0.2 0.2 it gets to 2 so there is a calculation involved in this so now you can see this has a layer of 2 this is the outer layer print always i'll remove that and i'll show you so it will be much easier uh it has a use of that also i'll uh, get that part so when i come to this addition of slicing so none so as you can see first two layers are nothing but the wall thickness then it is the internal layer it starts so if i increase this uh, wall thickness i'll increase the wall thickness to like 1.2 so it automatically gets to 3 so it now it will have three layers three lines in the outside so total four lines so this it has three lines here 1 2 3 so this is how it is calculated if i put 1.6 then it comes to 4 so this is how the wall thickness is increased so similarly i'll reset back similarly the top layer the top layer the bottom layer this is basically the thickness the pattern you have different patterns lines concentric zigzag patterns of uh, how the nozzle moves it is that then this is not much needed uh, then the infill we have already seen this we can increase the percentage of the infill the distance the infill pattern there are different infill patterns so depending upon the type of uh, your requirement uh, of the box you can change the infill now this is cubic one you can change this to uh, there are many patterns just show you one or two so depending upon what type of object you want you can change this accordingly the best one i always keep it that uh, keep that is the cubic one it is a standard one which uh, supports most of the structures 
nicely. Uh, then you have the printing temperature. So now the printing temperature for uh, PLA material which you are using that is around 200 degrees Celsius. You can change this to 205 degrees Celsius and this is the build plate, the temperature of the plate on which the object stands. So it is around 55 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. You can keep like this. Okay, so this is the standard for PLA. If you are using ABS material, you can change it accordingly. Now here the print speed given is 50. You can increase the print speed to around 120 degree uh, 120 also it doesn't uh, it will increase the speed of your uh, printing now if it is 50 and if i slice now the time showing is 4 hours 32 minutes if i increase the speed to like 100 and then i slice you can see it has uh, reduced quite a good number so earlier it was uh, in 50 it was around 4 hours so it reduced obviously the speed increased and uh, I have checked it doesn't affect much of your object if it is a complex object it might but if it is a simple object it will not so you have to do some trial and error you can increase the speed at 120 also it will further uh, decrease your time so not an issue in that then the travel speed then retraction. Now, what do you mean by retraction? Now, basically, wherever our nozzle goes from one point to another. So, if it is moving from one point to another, then what happens while moving? It retracts uh, some of the filament inside. So, the filament turns inside, goes inside the nozzle and then it moves to the another point. Then it starts unloading the uh, filament again. So, it retracts back. So, the filament is pulled inwards for a certain amount of time. How much amount of time? The speed is given here and how much distance is goes inside. So, it goes around 0 0.8 millimeters inside the nozzle when it is moving from one point to another and the speed is 40 millimeter per second. I have also enabled this Z hop. It will not be there in your settings. So, if you want some extra settings, you, you have to click on these three lines. You have to go to manage settings visibility. And here, here you have more options. So, from here, I have enabled this Z hop. You can type here hop. Then, the Z hop when retracted, I have enabled this. So, the Advantage of this is that when the nozzle is moving from one point to another, so generally it goes in a straight line. But if there is some uh, um, uh, unevenness between the surfaces, then the nozzle will bang to the another object. So Z hop, it, it is a small hop when it, it hops on a point and then it goes and then it goes down. So it is like hopping, hopping from one point to another, another point to another. So it is jumping. So, so it helps uh, in moving the nozzle then you have the cooling always keep the cooling to 100 percent it is a pla material it has to quickly cool so that it uh, solidifies then supports we have talked about supports you have different uh, again you have different patterns for the supports you can choose according to your uh, need now this is the build plate addition type so here we have kept it none so you have no build plate now suppose the object is uh, this way so it doesn't require any base uh, stronger base for the uh, for its build but if your object is like this now it is standing on a single line so now what happens if you start building this without the addition or the support to the base then it will obviously fall even if you keep the support then it will try to fall or bend so you need this types of additions so you can use either skirt bim brim or raft so like skirt you can see so preview so you can see uh, it is already creating a support i'll just move this back to its original uh, position now skirt is nothing but it gives the outer line so this outer line basically uh, looks at it that uh, the printing will be proper so it is just uh, lines uh, which shows before printing then you have brim and raft are the uh, main uh, purpose for the addition so you can see there are few layers outside of your block so it gives a support to the base so brim is the smaller one and raft is much bigger support here, here you can see so raft is a much bigger support which uh, keeps the object stable so warping and everything gets avoided in this uh, so these are the basic settings you have to look into uh, before moving uh, forward with the printing so the main thing is uh, 
the print speed you have to increase the speed sprint so standard it is 50 so many things you have to make some changes according to your needs and your object will be printing faster now few things i have uh, not explained you that is about this part that is the uh, supports you can uh, add support blockers so as per your need you can add the support custom supports so like if i have to add the support over here i'll click like this so you can add the supports as per your need you can like change uh, the structure of the supports uh, the size you can change the size so this is uh, the support blocker and this is the supports so you can change the base width and everything and you can put the supports accordingly you can remove the supports you have to click again it will uh, be removed so random supports you can apply okay so this is it so this is all about creality so enjoy and uh, keep working and uh, you will surely get good results thank you